Today I'm going to tell you about Mupiracin, uh, number 199 drug by prescription volume as of 2019. I'm going to start right after this. What is going on? My name is Abdul Bashawuth and welcome to another video. And if this is your first time here and you want to learn about drugs in general, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. In case you wondered where the list is coming from of the, of the 200 drugs, here is the website. And the information from this website comes from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. So number 199 is Mupiracin. Uh, Mupiracin is a generic name. Uh, the brand name is called Bactroban or Centonil. Uh, this drug was initially marketed by GSK and it was uh, approved back in December of 1997. And uh, Mupiracin exists as a cream ointment and nasal ointment. Uh, according to GoodRx, uh, the Bactroban nasal ointment brand cost about $175.74. Uh, the Mupiracin ointment generic is about $12.56. And the Mupiracin cream is available as an authorized generic with a price tag of about $300 per 15 grams tube. So mupiracin works by stopping RNA synthesis in bacteria and is effective in the treatment of, of impetigo caused by Staphylococcus aureus and Staphylococcus pyogenes. And it is applied with a cotton swab or gauze pad to the affected area three times daily for up to 10 days. So what is impetigo? Impetigo is the most common bacterial infection in children between the ages of 2 to 5 years old, but it can affect all ages. It's usually uh, present, uh, it presents it itself as a honey-colored crusty lesions around the mouth and nose, but can also appear on the extremities and trunk. Most cases resolve within two to three weeks without treatment. Serious complications are rare, but it can happen. And serious complication here, I'm talking about cellulitis. The most common causative uh, pathogens are Staphylococcus aureus and Staphyl Staphylococcus pyogenes. Empetigo is highly contagious. Uh, bacteria are spread through the scratching and touching the lesions as well as from things that have come into contact with the lesions uh, such as clothing and towels. Lesions should be gently cleaned with soap and water uh, several times daily. Patients should regularly wash their hands, avoid touching or scratching the lesions and keep fingernails short. Towels, sheets, and clothes should be kept separate from those uh, not infected and cleaned frequently. Lesions can be covered with loose, sterile gauze or a bandage to help prevent scratching and the spread of bacteria. It's sometimes recommended that children diagnosed with empatigo be kept home from childcare or school until they have had antibiotic treatment either uh, like a, something that you apply on the skin, topical or oral, for at least one full day. Uh, the topical antibiotics are often uh, used to decrease the duration of impetigo and to prevent the spread of the lesions. Oral antibiotics may be needed for the generalized or the severe infections. And examples would be uh, like augmentin uh, or cephalexin. Natural products are not generally, uh, generally recommended due to insufficient evidence for their efficacy. Example of the natural products that people uh, have been using are tea tree oil, garlic, or coconut oils. 
Topical uh, disinfectants have been found to be less effective than the topical antibiotics and are generally not recommended. Examples of the topical disinfectants are bacitracin or hydrogen peroxide. If you have any question, be sure to leave it in the comment section below. If you want to learn more about drugs, how they work, their effects, their side effects, interactions, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.